Hey everyone, welcome to Adventures in Everyday Cooking, where every day can be an adventure in your kitchen. My name is Heather, and today we're gonna do my take on chicken and waffles. Well, okay, maybe it's not just my take, but Pamper Chef kind of helped out a little bit. Yes, this is a Pamper Chef recipe using our Deluxe Electric Grill and Griddle and our waffle iron plates. Now, this take on chicken and waffles is a sandwich, and it is so good. And it's so easy. Just a couple ingredients, most of which are already in your pantry. Um, you're gonna need a box of Jiffy corn mix and some chicken, and the rest of it will just come together in a snap. So are you ready for this adventure? Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is get our grill preheated at 350. We're gonna hit custom for six minutes at 350 and hit go. Okay, while that's warming up, we're gonna go ahead and get our batter all together. So here I have an 8.5 ounce box of corn muffin mix. Now, I know for a fact that you can use any corn muffin mix, but you're gonna have to play with your ratios. I just know the 8.5 one makes about two large sandwiches. So um, if you use a gluten-free mix or even um, one of the other mixes, you definitely have to just adjust and make it to the size of your meal. So we're gonna dump the corn muffin mix into our bowl along with one egg, along with two thirds of a cup of milk, two tablespoons of melted butter, and then we're just gonna give it a good whisk. Um, the batter will be lumpy whenever you are done whisking it together. Don't worry about that, it'll be fine. All right, that looks fantastic. Now we're gonna need some oil and a brush because we're gonna wanna brush that with oil. Okay, and while that's warming up and our batter is ready, let's get our chicken ready. So in this bowl, I have two cups of pre-cooked chicken. Now it's important it's pre-cooked because it's gonna already need to be cooked before it goes into our waffles. So in here, I have the two cups of chicken and I'm gonna add to it two thirds of a cup of barbecue sauce. And we're gonna give it a little mix. Just get all that barbecue sauce all over. You can definitely use your leftover chicken from the night before. Just cut it up, shred it up, get it into small pieces so that it can fit inside your sandwich. Okay, let's move that off to the side because this is now ready. All right, so what we're gonna do over here is we're gonna take our basting brush and a little oil and we are gonna oil it up very well. Now, if you are using a different waffle iron besides ours, um, you definitely just need to play with your batter amounts. But I know for a fact that each of these waffles is one half of a cup of batter. So I'm gonna take a half of a cup of batter and I'm gonna set it right on the inside, right here. And this will make four of these waffles. All right, now I'm gonna shut it and I'm going to start my timer. And then we'll be back when that's ready to come out. And it'll take six minutes, be back. And while you wait for that to cook, you definitely want to get your cheese and your onions and your pickles ready to go because once this comes out, it's gonna come together really fast and dinner is going to be served and it's going to be amazing. All right, at the end of the time, we have our waffles. Oh, they got a little bit too crispy. Uh, maybe I should uh, have opened it sooner. Well, that's why we have another one, but it might be fine. But those look a little bit too crispy. Okay, so let's get on custom again for six minutes at 350. And we're gonna go ahead and brush this with oil once again. And then we're gonna get our other half of a cup in. And I'm gonna go ahead and check it uh, maybe at four minutes. And maybe I will, there we go. I'm gonna adjust it just a teeny tiny bit. Hold on, it's not enough. There we go, here we go, added for the six minutes. Now, again, I'm gonna check it early because those did get a little crispier than I wanted, um, but they're still gonna taste amazing. Oh yeah, they're gonna still be amazing. Okay, we're about to hit the two minute mark, so I'm going to peek and make sure that they're done. Hold on, 
I read my directions wrong. It is only supposed to be two to three minutes, so I'm glad that I'm lifting it out of there. <laughs> Looks much better. Now comes the fun bit. So let me go ahead and push cancel. And we have custom. We'll do six minutes at 350 again. So now I'm gonna fit the waffle right back down on the area we just took out. And then we are going to top it with all of our toppings. So let's do barbecue chicken. And then we're gonna put on our onions. And we are going to put on our cheese. And then next we're gonna put on pickles. Actually, we should probably put on the pickles before the cheese, huh? Here we go. Now we'll put on the cheese. And now we are going to fit our waffle right back on top like this. And then we are going to adjust this so that we can just hover over the top. Kind of like this. And yes, we do wanna push down a little bit, but not a whole bunch. There we go. And now we just push go and wait for it to melt that cheese. Okay, we'll be right back and show you the results. It should only take like a minute or two. Okay, they are warm enough now. It is time to get them out. So slide something underneath it. Be careful not to burn yourself and onto your plates. Oh, look at the melty goodness. Oh man, oops, we lost a pickle. Man down, pickle down. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it in half and serve. Right, you ready to see this amazing take on chicken and waffles? Look at this, look at that. Okay, so let's uh, take a bite. Mmm, 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 mmm. <laughs> that is chicken and waffles like you will never have it. Mmm. Now my waffle is a little crispy because I misread my directions. Make sure you only cook your waffle for two to three minutes. Besides the fact that it's a little more crispy, I'm not mad at it. That is quite possibly the best way to eat chicken and waffles because you get chicken with every bite, you get waffle with every bite, and that barbecue sauce, oh my goodness, it is so delicious. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed that video, give it a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. I do videos several times a week, and I'm always looking for the next adventure, so if you've got one for me, leave it in the comments below. Otherwise, I'm gonna find my own adventures. And now that I'm in the South, you better believe that we're gonna have some Southern treats that I just want to master. Is this a master? Well, no, but it's dang good, and I hope you'll try it. And if you do, maybe it's your next adventure. All right, you guys, we will see you on the next adventure. Bye.